Hey everybody, it's Vic, back again with another episode of Behind the Bars. Sorry for the hiatus. I was out there voting like you all should be too. Today's episode is a song that I wrote for my mom called Lily Serenade. I wrote it in Tennessee on an uh, upright piano that my mom bought for our house. It was my dream to have a piano in the home. And finally she got one from a church. It was like 100 years old, this beautiful upright piano. And I ended up composing a lot of songs on it. Uh, one of these pieces, like I said, is called Lily Serenade. And it was, um, it came from being in a home that um, celebrated sort of this Victorian era, or like this 1800s to early 1900s. Um, my mom loves all like the art pieces from that time period. She has tapestry, she has this Vic Victorian dolls. Uh, she loves uh, Renoir, his paintings. And on the music side, uh, the, that was during the Romantic period. And so um, composers like Beethoven, um, Chopin, all of these guys sort of like worked into that time period. And so I thought to myself, like, what would it be uh, if I lived during that time period? What sort of music would I make? And this was sort of like um, channeling that, I guess you could say. Before I play it, uh, real quickly, in terms of the Romantic period, in terms of music, um, it was a transition from classical to romantic. Now, classical was more structured. Um, this was like majority of like Beethoven's work was during that time, but then he sort of lived until he got into the Romantic period. The Romantic period was more of like more emotion. Um, it, they played with sort of like the range of playing very, very soft, very, very, very loud. Um, it was definitely more expressive, uh, more emotion. Um, I am not a music musical theory guy. I actually now started sort of going online and trying to learn a little bit more of these time periods. I don't have any musical training, uh, just anything that I pretty much like thought, taught myself over the years. So as you'll see with this piece, I try to play with softer elements and stronger forte elements. Um, and then I also change the tempo here and there. And I think having less constraints um, sort of speaks to what was happening during that romantic uh, period of music. Then it goes faster and louder. Thank you, Mom, um, for always encouraging me and making sure we had a piano in the home and buying me my first uh, keyboard when I was growing up in St. Louis. I appreciate all the support. Mm -hmm.